As a former Marine, if you had any thoughts, as an anti-war veteran, if you had any thoughts on Nancy Pelosi's uh, trip to China? Oh, it's madness. It's absolute madness. It, it's the, the arrogance of power. It, it, it's, uh, gosh, I, I'd be here all night talking about this if you want me to. Now I'm going to try and walk my dogs after getting all spun up like this. Um, it, it's uh, this idea that we can continue pushing people that we can continue pushing, whether it's Russia, whether it is, is China, whether it's, it's the Venezuelans, Iranians, and that there will be no harm, that there will be no blowback, or that the harm will be limited to Ukrainians or Yemenis, right? That's where you know, the Americans are, is just, uh, it's incredibly dangerous. It, it, it's historically uh, 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 bankrupt, you know, and, it, and it's, and, you know, it's despicable because the endangerment, look, for 25 years, the United States has been told by the Chinese, stop sending your aircraft carriers up to our coasts and humili- humiliating us. I mean, at some point, they are going to push back. And this is not and in our in our inane media political structure we have here in this country. If you say something like that, you're automatically, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a member of the Chinese Communist Party for right. understanding how another nation might act or react or trying to interpret their actions and words in a way that actually can be utilized to adjust to some form of real policy that won't be a a mitigated disaster like the decades of war we've had. So, you know, Pelosi's Pelosi visiting there. I don't know why she's going, what the purpose is. Uh, I assume it's got something to do with her crooked husband. I mean, that's where I'm going to with that because the members of the Biden administration are saying, don't go. And so this is just madness. It's incredibly dangerous. And, uh, you know, for the people in D.C. who want a war, they just might get a war. 